anything from items at the grocery store and filling up at the pumps will cost you more amid record inflation and Canadians are doing what they can to cut costs. Whether it's rewards from credit card companies like CIBC or from stores like No Frills and Save on Foods, Canadians are turning to loyalty programs as a way to bump up their purchasing power. And that's led by the Optimum card in Canada. That would be the number one. That's the benchmark in Canada, and it's, it's been very successful. And now the grocers are starting to actually build uh, their loyalty based, I guess, or their loyalty programs. But coping with rising food inflation is not as simple as finding new strategies to save. Some cost saving measures are quite extreme. 24% of, of people in BC uh, and Alberta are actually buying less food. Uh, and uh, sometimes actually they're skipping food. Retail analysts say some Canadians are also choosing to make it a one-stop shop for all their needs. So instead of buying from, you know, two or three grocery stores, they're saying, how can I get the most out of my loyalty points by buying everything from one grocery store? But Winder says loyalty programs can be problematic for consumers as they become accustomed to one store. And the loyalty program may not be worth it. That they may be paying more just to get points. Look around and see if you can get a better loyalty program through another, another store or another credit card. Because people are hungry. Uh, companies are hungry now for your loyalty. So, it, it, you know, shop around, I guess is what I'm saying. Even if costs come down, he thinks these loyalty programs are here to stay. And they're built into the costs at the store. He warns if you're not a member, you might be paying more than you need to. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.